Let's uh, start off with asking the question that you won't like answering. What's that? You got four wins, seven to go. Do you think about bowl games at all yet, or no, how do you no. deal with that? No, way too early. I mean, we we. Uh, you know, the big thing we've, we've tried to kind of preach from day one was the process. And to me, if you start talking about who's in first place or how many games for this, how many games for that, you kind of start to destroy the process. And, and so we've really preached that from day one, just about it, taking it day by day and, and taking that approach. And so, you know, the good thing is I haven't heard one player talking about it. I haven't heard one player talking about standings, any of that kind of stuff. They're just trying to get better. Do you, do you think about it at all? or, or Not at all. No, not at all. You just kind of learn when, you, when you've been doing it long enough. You, you, you know, there's there's so many things to think about, and so many things to consider, and that's, you know, that's one of those things that comes up, and you know, you deal with it when it happens, and you don't think about it until then. Is Maximo's suspension uh, over? Uh, yeah, yeah, Max, Max is cleared and ready to go. Yeah. Was uh, any particular reason? Because I remember you said it was for a year. <clears throat> yeah, you know, we just uh, basically it was for a year, and then um, it was going to be, you know, based on some conditions for him to get it released and. You know, quite frankly, didn't know if it was going to work. Um, you know, and he did everything they asked him to do, and then some. And so, they reduced the suspension. So it was one of those things where it's, you know, pretty simple. But that's the way it played out. When you say he's cleared and ready to go, does that mean he could play Saturday? Yeah, yeah, he's going to play Saturday. Because he's been practicing with the twos a little bit. Right? Yeah, yeah, he'll play Saturday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What kind of shape is he in? Good. He's been conditioning for a while. Been in the weight room. Been conditioning. You know, last thing in the world we, we would do is play him if he wasn't ready to play. You know, from right. a from a conditioning or a physical standpoint. And, so he's been he's been in the weight room for a month, um, you know, getting in shape. Still not in as good a shape as he needs to be in quite yet. But he's, uh, you know, I don't know how big of a role he's going to have Saturday. But he's going to have a role on special teams for sure, and uh, we'll kind of see how. It plays His issue out. was not legal. No, not it at was all. not no, academic. No, not at all. Okay, yeah. but and what, whatever it was, it's behind him now. Yeah, 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 behind him. You're pretty confident that he's. Yeah, no, he's going to be good to go. Was uh, that a whole staff decision? Was it a your decision? Yeah, it was an athletic department decision. Okay. Can you talk about just uh, update on some other guys? Uh, Calfani? Yeah, yeah, uh, casted and practiced, and you know, going to be effective. I mean, I, I, you know, I think you're kidding yourself if you don't think him having a cast on his hand is going to affect him. But you know, he'll learn how to handle it and work through it. And so it's I certainly affect him if you try to throw the ball to him. I would imagine. Yeah, some. I would expect to see him on Saturday though, and, yeah. and kind of see how he see how he does. Darius Powell. Yeah, Darius will be fully good, fully cleared and ready to go. Don't know how big of a role he's going to have quite yet, uh, but he's going to be. It's his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, shoulder injury. But I think he'll he'll play Saturday. Avery's going to play. Avery will play. He's been he's been practiced good to go. All week. Yeah, practiced yeah. all week and actually looked the best probably today he's looked. Um, you know, maybe since last year. Really, yeah. you could use his experience, I presume. Huh? No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. No. Will he start? Uh, you know, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll kind of see how the meetings go and everything this week. But then, he'll play. Yeah, he'll play yeah. for sure. Steph? Steph, don't know yet. Probably be a game time deal. Okay. Uh, we'll kind of wait and see on him. This has uh, lingered a lot longer than... Yeah, lingered than I thought it would. Um, you know, well, you know, the same old deal. You don't want to... It's one of those things where you got to be really careful with it. And if you bring him back too quickly, um, <coughs> you can set him back. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. It's all going to depend on really how he does probably in the next 48 hours or you know, 40 hours, whatever it is before we play. It's really tempting though, huh? Yeah, we'd I mean, like to have him. we'd like to have him. <clears throat> yeah, and Tandy? Uh, Tandy's not gonna play. Okay. Yep, That's Tandy will be take out. some more time. Still, yep. still the concussion. Yeah, yeah just kind of lingering, yep. How do you think your team's handled success so far? Um, you know, pretty good. I mean, pretty good. I think, um, you know, I think the thing we have to do is just realize that, you know, We've been successful because we've worked really hard and we've paid attention to the things that matter, and so we've got to make sure we continue to do that. Uh, you got to do the same thing as a coaching staff, and it just is a, is a program, and um, you know, and just keep working, keep grinding, because that's what's going to make us better. And you know, everybody knows that our schedule is not going to get easier, and, and every game is going to be more challenging than one before, and uh, so we know all that stuff, and, and our guys know they have to get better. If they don't, you know. We're not going to have a whole lot of success in the remainder of the season. So they've handled it pretty well. You know, we just got to make sure that we keep coming out and practicing at a high level every day. I thought today was a really good practice. I thought yesterday was a below average practice. And so we've got to just keep keep our thumb on them and keep making sure we push, push them every day. In the position that you're in coming off what you went through last year, I presume you're, you want them to, to feel good about themselves, yeah, but at the same time, you're winning a game because somebody missed a field goal, or you're winning sure, a game because sure. of that. I mean, you've had three games that you won that 
could have gone the other way and one that you yeah, lost sure. that could have gone the sure. other way. Yeah, and, and these guys, we, we keep telling them, all, I mean, every game's going to be like that. I mean, to me, we're going to have an opportunity to be in every game. and But at the same time, I mean, we're going to have to play well to give ourselves an opportunity to be in those games. And then we're going to have to show the same kind of grit that we've shown and, and being able to tough some stuff out. And so, you know, the thing we talk about over and over and over again is a game is a collection of plays. and and they're all important. Every single one of them is important. And, and you know, there's more emphasis put on get plays at the end of games, but plays at the beginning of games are just as important. And so just that mentality of understanding we got to play hard every single play for all 60 minutes. And I think those guys, you know, have had that lesson uh, play out pretty well before them. I mean, you talk about it, but then when it truly comes down to almost the last play of the game, three consecutive weeks, <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, the guys start to, to figure it out pretty quickly. But they also, I presume, aren't afraid of those moments anymore. No, no, and no. Not that they it, ever were, but I mean, yeah, they're accustomed I, to them now. I, right? I think they were. I mean, I think, quite frankly, we were, you know, we didn't handle the Arizona thing very good. And, and you know, we talked in the locker room right after the game. Look, next time we're in this situation, we're going to handle it better. And to their credit, they've handled it better the last two weeks.